This is a brief tutorial on how to solve a basic engineering problem with the Python programming language. What we're going to do here is have a, uh, a tank. Now this tank is going to be 5 meters in radius and the height is 10 meters and you have a liquid coming in at 15 meters cubed per minute. Okay, so that's filling up fairly quickly but it's also a fairly a uh, large tank as well. So uh, what we want to do is is try to determine at time equals uh, two hours or 120 minutes whether this tank is going to overfill. So let's go ahead and just write the volume of our tank. Okay, so the volume of our tank in this case is just going to be the cross-sectional area pi r squared times h and then we have the volume of our uh, liquid, okay, and that is just going to be the flow rate times the time. So this is meters cubed per minute and times minutes, and that's going to give us meters cubed. Okay, so um, we have these two, and then if the volume of the liquid is greater than or equal to the volume of the tank, then we are full. Um, or if it's equal to, we're full, and if it's uh, greater than, then it's uh, overfilled. Okay, so let's uh, just write a simple Python program that will do this for us. So um, what I'll do is just go ahead and create a new text document. Okay, and then I'm just going to change the extension on this to .py. So I'm just going to name this as tank.py and it'll ask me if I want to change the extension. Just go ahead and select yes. Okay, so this is a new Python script and uh, what I'm going to do is just go ahead and edit. I'll edit with the IDLE uh, editor. You can also edit with others as well. Um, but what we're going to do here is just first of all, um, let's just define our radius. So that's going to equal 5. Uh, for the radius. Now if you want to put a comment in here um, you can just do that with a hash sign and then our height is going to equal 10 um, height uh, 10 meters and then our flow rate is going to be 15 and then the uh, flow rate and that's going to be meters cubed per minute okay and uh, I'm going to go ahead and just define pi as well, 3.1459, okay, and uh, let's just go ahead and do the volume of the tank first of all. Okay, so that's going to be uh, pi times r squared uh, times h. Okay, now I'll show you, you may uh, uh, not be able to do the squared there, okay, so and then v uh, liquid equals um, that's going to be just the flow rate times the time. Now we didn't have time defined in this case, so let's just go ahead and do time equals and we'll just do 120 um, time, that'll be in minutes. Okay, and uh, let's do an if statement now. So if the volume of the liquid is greater than the volume of the tank, okay, then we're going to print um, tank over filled okay and uh, else um, let me go ahead and just unindent that so Python just uses indentation to keep track um, instead of parentheses um, so this is print uh, not let's do not overfilled okay so that's it okay now if we run and we'll go ahead and save that. Okay, so there is an error there. Okay, the operand, uh, the caret sign that you can normally use in other programming languages, you can't use that in Python. So what we'll use is the power function. Okay, and uh, we'll do that to the, uh, the squared. So we're going to take r uh, squared, and we have to use the power function or the uh, the POW and then the value and then the exponent that you want to 
to have there. Okay, so if we run, you can hit F5 as well. And do you want to save? And it says tank overfilled. Okay, so um, let's make this just a little bit easier to, um, let's see how much it uh, overfilled by. Okay, and I'm gonna add, I'm gonna put in a, a string. I've gotta convert a, the number to the string in order to be able to print that out and concatenate it with the other message. So concatenate just means put it together. Okay, so that's gonna be V um, liquid minus V tank. Okay, and then uh, let's just go ahead and run that again. And I'll save it. And it overfilled by 1014.6 meters cubed. Okay, um, so that concludes this demonstration on using Python to solve a, a fairly simple engineering problem. And uh, this is the third part, uh, part three of three. Uh, first part was VBA, second was MATLAB, and then this one is in Python.